Okay, here's the upper wing. So it's covered with Aurotex, which I found to be excellent. It irons on uh, without wrinkling. And when you turn the heat up, it stretches really nicely to go around the corners. So I certainly recommend this covering. So the top wing I'm pretty pleased with. Uh, j just one thing I'd say, if I was doing it again, on this edge here, I would have ironed on a, a flat piece of covering on this edge. Because what I did was I folded over the covering from the top side and where I've cut it to get it to go in this bend, you can see little cuts down this side. So I think it would have been better if I'd put a flat piece on there and then just taken the top just slightly over the edge. And here's the lower wing. So obviously naked here where it fits up against the bottom of the fuselage. And on the underside, and these hatch covers here I obviously made. And the construction you can see here. So we've got the servo tucked in there. And then I've just put in four corner brackets and then the hatch cover is made of uh, I think it's three millimeter ply and I, I trimmed up the slot there cut it out with a knife and then trimmed it up with uh, a soldering iron and put it into position uh, drill the four holes fit the screws and then take it back off again and then I'll put a bit of uh, CA glue down each of these holes just to harden up the wood and then put back in place. Uh, the aileron hinges you can see that I've uh, placed them in the wing just below the top corner so I've got three hinges so this type of hinge and then on the aileron I've obviously cut the uh, corresponding slots again quite near to the top and I've put some uh, reinforcement on the other side and then when we come to fit them to the wing so this is how it fits to the wing so I think that looks okay. There's not, not a great deal of uh, down travel needed. So I obviously had to taper the front edge of the aileron to get to that amount of down. And what I did was took the measurement off the plan to make sure it was adequate and uh, not having to overcut the aileron. So I've just got to uh, cover the top of the ailerons before I fix these in and then the wing uh, I just had to fit the control rods on the aileron and then the two wings will be 100% finished.